Alright, what we're doing here is uh, taking a look at Sacred 2 Fallen Angel. It's a pretty uh, standard hack and slash RPG. Uh, at least that's what I thought going into it. At first, it took me a while to get into this game. And here's my character. She's a Seraphim. Uh, pretty much, pretty much similar to a Viking, or not a Viking, uh, Valkyrie, in in, <clears throat> in mythical terms. And uh, yeah, she's the person that I use the most right now. She's only level 13. And uh, let's look at the different character classes. Let's see, let's create a new character. There's, there's your Seraphim. <clears throat> They're your Valkyrie types, pretty much. Then you have Dryads, which are your Hunter, Naturalist types. You have your Shadow Warriors, which is your basic warrior. I don't know why they're all tanned. They all look tanned. You have your Inquisitor, which is a, like a Dark Mage. High Elves are your Mages. And uh, Temple Guardians are weird. They look like Anubis, and they're the futuristic type. They're the ones that use guns and whatnot. But, uh... I have another character. Uh, <clears throat> Noob Bort is my, uh... Warrior class. He's only level 6, but... When I first started this game... I didn't really know how to play since I never read the instruction manual. So, uh, I just went in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just went in here, uh, not knowing what to do, so I screwed up a lot of stats on him. So when I finally read the instruction manual on how to play, I actually started using the Seraphim class, and, uh, I had a lot of fun, and she has some pretty bitchin' armor. So let's just look at the things inside the world of S Sacred 2 Fallen Angel. I'm at the spawn point that I've activated. Right now it's night time. Uh, the game plays in real time. I don't know uh, just exactly what the mechanics of the real time are. I don't know how time lapses here. I haven't counted it, but this is my Seraphim. Let me bring up the menu. Just general information. Her name is Dude because when I play online, I want people to realize that I'm a dude, not a chick. And uh, yes, you can play online with other players, but it's not an MMO. You can only have a uh, up to four people playing with you at the same time which I like because it it makes the party aspect a lot better when you're all just playing together in a small group it's a lot more intimate that way where you can share your quests and uh, run around doing stuff together instead of a big MMO world where there's just tons and tons of people out there stealing your kills right here you can just Easily up to four. You're gonna have a ton. There's a shitload, a shitload of enemies for you to fight. And uh, let's see what she has. These are attributes right now. I'm ever as a sword user, so I'm pretty much upping her strength, stamina, vitality, and her dexterity. Dexterity is the amounts that you can hit uh, with close range weapons, and it's also the damage that you make with ranged weapons and vitality is your hit points and your defense stamina is how fast your skills regenerate and your strength is the strength for melee weapons you can, there's a lot of skills you can learn in this game that's what I like about this game there's a crap load of skills right now and you can focus out your points when you level up onto what you want there's a ton of combat arts that you can learn and right now what I have her equipped with is pretty cool. Each weapon has a socket where you can uh, put enhancers or elemental damage onto it. And I put a, I use this as an ice elemental sword. 
and I socketed it with that extra added damage booster. So it's pretty fun. And she has her arm shield. There's other weapons that I got. This is my poison blade, which is pretty cool. I just like the animations because it actually shows that. Oh crap, there's poison on there. Or. Oh look, there's an ice blade. It's pretty cool. This is my mount. You can buy mounts on this game, which is pretty fun. And the animations stay the same. Uh, I call my mount Clip Clop. After the Simpsons where Homer tricks Lisa into getting her a horse for her to celebrate Christmas. But it turns out to be just Milhouse and Ralph inside a horse costume. And your horse has skills too, like the horse can leap and the horse can give you a boost in attacking. So that's pretty cool. Now I just got a standard horse. There's other horses that have more uh, skills. But those cost more, and I didn't have money at the time. Let's take a look at the world map. It's a pretty freaking huge world map. This is all I've discovered so far. I'm still still into the beginning phases of the game. I'm just doing the main quest, and you can see where your quest locators are. Your silver rings are your sub-quests. And the gold rings are your main quests. And there are a ton of quests on this game. Let's look at the con. Let's see if I can f find somewhere to fight real quick. I'm deep in the story. Or I'm deep in this city right now. So let me just teleport to this area. You can teleport instantaneously if you unlock the teleport locations. You just go up there and activate them. That's all you have to do. Let's see if we can find somewhere to fight real quick. Uh, let me go back. And it's cool. The animations follow like the ice sword is still giving away that frozen look. And uh, let me just mount real quick. It's your standard hack and slash. All you got to do is hold on to a button to bring up a skill. And uh, there's nothing to it. But there are a ton of enemies that you could. They're all aggro. Uh, it's, it's pretty hectic. When you get a bunch of them at the same time. Just coming at you. But the learning curve isn't too steep. If you're used to these sort of games, you'll pretty much know what to do. It's a simple interface for the console controller. Your down on the D-pad is your potions. Your down left and right are your potion slots. While your up D-pad is uh, your divine gift. Because you're, you're assigned a god with each character. And each god has a different gift. My god, uh, I chose, has healing powers. And your skills are on your... As you can see on the lower right, the X, circle, triangle, and square. You can assign skills onto that. Uh, it's just basic stuff I'm just showing what my Seraphim looks like. She has pretty bitchin' armor. I like her armor. She just doesn't have good uh, leg armor. But the rest of her, she just looks like a frickin' paladin almost. It's pretty sweet. Alright, that's it. See ya.